Hey guys, Jano Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. Yeah, okay. Uh, rain barrel. I got this white rain barrels from my Uncle Buck. Uh, over the winter time, this one here has cracked on the bottom and it will no longer hold water. So what I've done is I just got my drill and I drilled a whole bunch of holes all around it. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this bottom ring here. We're going to cut this part off and make it a planter. And then we're going to take the top part of it, flip it upside down, and make it a potato tower. I hope. That's the plan anyway. But this is one of them things where, uh, you know, the, the barrel doesn't hold water anymore. So what are we going to do with it? We're going to use it to grow. Instead of uh, holding water to water the plants, we're going to use it to actually grow the plants. So now, right now, I'm just going to get my jigsaw. Get my jigsaw, and these are just half inch holes that I drilled. I'm just gonna cut this barrel right around this top ring. Just gonna go like that all the way around it. I'm not gonna bore the crap out of you with uh, sitting here watching me cut these, uh, cut this ring off, but whenever we get it all cut, then I'll get right back with you. Alrighty, so we got that bottom section off here. We've got holes drilled all through it so that it can aerate and the water, excess water can drain out. And we've got this one here that we're going to use as a little uh, potato tower. We're going to plant, this will probably hold five uh, plants, I'm hoping, of potatoes. So uh, next step is just kind of rinse them out and uh, start planting, I guess. So anyway, just another thing that you can do to uh, save yourself a little bit of space and growing potatoes and growing uh, uh, flowers, I think are going to go in this one here. So uh, rather than wasting the barrel, we're going to reuse it. So we're going to rinse this out real good, and then uh, we'll get back with you when we start putting stuff together. Alrighty, now in this part of the uh, potato, that we're going to plant potatoes. I'm just going to take some of this old hay and uh, put it in the bottom. Just a little bit of an organic, some stuff that'll go ahead and compost on down. Put it in the bottom of this liner here. There's too much. And I've only put, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half or so in there. I got some sand here uh, from where the pool used to be. We had it leveled out with sand. So I dug up a little bit of sand. And to this sand, we're gonna add a bucket of rabbit manure stuff out of the rabbit pen. Mm -mm, rabbit soup. Mm -hmm. Not cocoa puffs. <laughs> We're going to mix this in with the sand. Mix it up real good. I've never tried a potato tower before, so this will be a learning experience for me. We got the other potato box there that we added a, we added another layer to earlier today. They're growing pretty well. So far it's working pretty well. So now I'm going to go down and get some dirt, just some regular soil, and put it in here and then mix it up too. And then I'll put that in there and we'll start planting the potatoes. So we'll be back here directly. All right, what I did was just we just added uh, one bag of topsoil. Uh, we, we got a couple of bags of topsoil from uh, the feed store. So we're just going to chop that up and add that into the mix. Minus the plastic. Minus the plastic, yes. And hopefully this is going to be a good growing medium for potatoes to grow in. 
because we do like potatoes. So the more we can grow for ourselves, the happier I will be. And the more money we can save, especially using repurposed and recycled stuff. So, so we got it mixed up really good. Now I'm just going to start taking it and I'll take this little part of the barrel here that I'm going to use as the tower. I'm going to start putting it in here. I'm going to put just enough in there right now to plant the potatoes in. And then as the potatoes start growing, we will layer more on top. So what that means is right now, we just got enough to put the potato in. And once the potato starts growing and you see the little part of the green potato plant starting to pop up, then we'll put another layer on. That way it's always growing up and making potatoes straight down. That's what I think is supposed to happen, but we'll see. So the potatoes that we're going to use are the potatoes that we saved from last year in our uh, refrigerator that we carried. You can see that these potatoes are growing well. They're covered with eyes. I'm going to uh, cut them up, cut each one of them in half, and we'll plant them. And there's a lot of people who say, you're supposed to let them sit for 24 hours after you cut them. Well, I don't. I just cut them and put them in the ground and grow them. So that's what we're going to do. These are the ones that we saved. They're growing nice eyes. So we're gonna start planting them. Like I said, I'm just gonna take my take my knife and I'll cut them in half, just like that. Put them into the dirt. I think I'll put three, six, seven in here. And we'll just cover them up and when we see them start sprouting through, then we'll add another layer under there. So that's what we're gonna do, y'all. Wish me luck. We're going to do the same thing uh, with that flower planter over there. We're just going to put some little bit of hay in the bottom, just like we did this. But in that one, we're going to plant uh, echinacea seeds and uh, usable flowers and stuff like that we're going to use as a planter. So there you go. Uh, you got something you're going to throw away, think about does it have another use before you can throw it away. And uh, I wish you all luck. If I can do it, you can do it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless. In the end. Buzz, buzz. The end.